So this is a Creality Ender 3 S1 Pro. Got the all metal hot end, that light bar, which is the Pro model, and a touch screen. <clears throat> and because this is a direct drive, it hasn't got that Bowden tube thing, you can print this flexible material. Look at this material. Look at it. <laughs> it's flexible. It's like, it's like rubber. It's literally like rubber. And I've never printed flexible material. Look, ready? Flexible filament. Purple. And what's it say there? Uh, print it 230 flexible material so print at 230 so I'm printing it at 230 the beds at 80 degrees and this is a fish there's a because it's a funny it's a big fish I'm gonna print a flexible fish because fishes are flexible aren't they you can see its fins <clears throat> it doesn't look like much of a fish because all this is just support has had to print a lot of support. It took like 12 hours just to print the support. And now it's printing the actual fish. But it's working pretty good. Because the hot end is there and where the gears are that dr drive it, there's only a small distance that it has to drive the filament into the hot end. So that's why you can print flexible material on this machine. I thought I've got a machine that can do it, I'm going to give it a shot. And I can't wait to play with this thing. It's going to be so cool. I've never printed anything that's all like flexible, you know. I've bought a lot of 3D printers over the years and this printer is an absolute must get. You can print anything on this thing. It's really, really good. I noticed on the internet uh, yesterday that the Ender 5 S1 just came out. So now they've got this Sprite set up, this is called the Sprite Extruder, they've got this set up on an Ender 5, with an all metal hot end, so I might think about getting one of them as well, anyway,